and it'll take you from Baltimore to Ocean City, but there is so much more in between. Our mission, our task is to find that in between and we'll start in St. Michael's. And first up, trading our car. Have some fun. For this one, St. Michael's Marina owner Mike Morgan plays tour guide. Now we're turning down Main Street. Right. And uh, this is sort of the beginning of coming into St. Michael's. Lined with shops from nurseries to restaurants. And it has a lot of great history, great restaurants, uh, great eateries, great everything. Including some luxury, like the Inn at Perry Cabin Five Star Resort. Nice place to come for dinner. Uh, they have a great spa. It's just really, really has helped put St. Michael's on the map. Even the entry to the Maritime Museum sparks your imagination, which you won't need much of to see the town's similarities with its neighbor to the north, Chestertown. The peace and quiet settles the native species, and downtown and the waterfront are like a postcard. And just like Boston, Chestertown, founded in 1706, has its very own tea party festival. So legend had it that then a ship pulled up in a Chester Harbor carrying tea from England, and um, the local people went and stormed it and threw the tea into the Chester River. So slowly but steadily has evolved into this festival that has been going on for 40 years. Back in the car and we're headed south, right down 50. And you can't help but to notice all the farm stands. But Wright's Market, well, they have kids for the kids. Years ago, my father-in-law thought that we needed to add a petting zoo. So we uh, added the goats. And perhaps feeding the goats will stir up hunger of your own. Fruits, veggies, and preserves. But what really tips the scale is the item that stops drivers right in their tracks. That's incredible. Zorro the bull. So we've had him for 11 years, and now he's one of the main attractions. But it's the produce that this fourth generation farm market is really known for. Just one more stop along the way, and they'll be ready for the summer season. No bull. Jason Newton, WBAL TV 11 News.